Hi everyone, this is Julie with Beataholic, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a little link by using a button and a bezel. So what I have here in front of me is I have a Nun Design bezel. I love this bezel, I use this a lot. So you see it's smooth on one side, it's got two loops, and it's got this nice little bezel setting. So I usually fill these with resin, which is my favorite, I love doing that. Um, but I also love buttons. I have a great love of buttons. I got it from my grandmother. She had a huge button collection, so I love buttons. So I have a button here. This is by Tierra Cast. It's this thistle, which is so pretty. And it has, of course, the button back. And I wanna combine the two so I can make this a focal link in a bracelet design. So if I was just to try to put this button into this bezel right now, well, we have a problem. So if you look at it from the side, you see that the button shank is preventing it from laying flat. So it's not gonna sit in there and play nicely. So what we're going to do is we are going to remove the shank and glue the top, top part of the button down into the bezel. So I'm going to be using my cutters to do the cutting and then I've got some super glue. You can also use E6000. This would be a fantastic application for E6000 as well. All right, so to remove, well, let's first talk about the sizing. So you can look on beetaholic.com and look at measurements and you will see that there are various sizes of both of these type items, the buttons and the bezels. And so just compare the sizes and pick two that match. So if you see right here, this is going to fit really nicely in there. So just do a little bit of uh, research when you're picking your buttons and your bezels. Okay, so to cut off the shank, so here is the button shank. You're just gonna go in here with your cutters. You're actually gonna go on the inside and snip. It's really easy to do. And this is not hurting my cutters. I love these cutters, I would not hurt them. This is just cutting very nicely. Okay, so we've done that. Now, it is rough. This is cut metal, but we are not going to be seeing that and it's not gonna be on our skin because we're gonna be setting it down into this setting. So let's see what happens now. Hooray, it fits. So it doesn't have that wobbly gap anymore. So what I am going to do is, like I said, I'm using super glue. I think E6000 would be really good too. So we're gonna go ahead and take our glue and I am going to run it along the interior edge right here because I noticed how that lined up and it did overlap on the edge just a little bit. So I want some glue on the edge, but I don't want it overflowing. That's why I'm working on a piece of paper. I've covered my work surface. And it's mainly the edge that is making contact right now with the button. Okay. Close that back up. Set this guy down into the glue and then make sure he is straight. There we go. Perfect. And I am going to just carefully position him so that he is all lined up. I'm just tapping him gently, making sure I don't touch the glue. And I'm going to let him dry. And when he's all dry, I'll be able to use him as my focal link in my next bracelet project.